Linear dimensions. Linear dimensions usually measure a straight distance, a distance between horizontal, vertical, or slanted surfaces. We're going to use the dim command. Now, I could use the dim command in the home tab on the annotation panel right here, or I like the annotation tab. And I'm going to go over to my dimensions panel and go to my dim command. I click on the dim command. The default method is just to select the object. I'm going to come over here. When I hover over it, it previews it. I select it by clicking the left mouse. I'll pull it out and I'll place my dimension. Let's do that again. I'm going to go and hit the escape key and I'm done with that command. I can go up to the dimension command, just pick on the object, I preview it, I pull it up and I place it. And I can escape uh, the command. Now another method is to pick points. And so when it won't work to pick an object, like I want to pick from the end point of this line to the end point of this line type thing, then I need to pick points as my option. So I'm going to go up to dim and I'm going to hover and snap onto the end point of this and then I need to use my object snap. And so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose uh, an object snap. I'm going to say I want to go to perpendicular. All right. And so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go perpendicular to here. And I, I find the perpendicular marker, which is green, and I pick. Now I got, I'll drag it up and I'll place my dimension. All right. So uh, I'll do that again. I'm going to go up to my dim command. I'm going to snap onto the end point. Then I need to come down and use my object snap. So I'm going to make sure my object snaps down here on. I'm going to go with perpendicular, which is on. All right. Oop, sorry. I'll do that again. I'll go up and pick dim. I'm going to snap onto the end point. I'm going to come down here and find my perpendicular. Find the perpendicular marker comes on. I pick. I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to place my dimension. I'll place it right here. And now I ended up correctly dimensioning this object. And so I have the overall views. And I have my two locating dimensions. And then all I have left to do is place my size dimension, which we'll leave for a later time. So linear dimensions using the dim command.